My name is Vicki Seikitz and I'm a fine artist and I paint in watercolor, oil, pastel, acrylic. As a young child, I was always very creative and imaginative. I loved painting, drawing, um, coloring. It's like my favorite pastime. I'd say the first artist that inspired me lived next door. Her name was uh, Virginia. Her whole basement was her studio and I just loved Jenny. When I was in high school, I really thought I wanted to go to art school or be a graphic designer. My parents really thought it was important for me going into a profession where I could um, support myself. After thought, a lot of thought, I felt like they were right. So I graduated from San Francisco State, became a nurse. I worked in pediatrics. I have three children. The oldest is a girl and I got two boys. When my daughter got to be two and a half, um, I was like thinking, oh, it's time to get the paint out for her. It was really fun. So then I started thinking, oh, I could get myself some real paint. And it just totally rekindled um, the creative side in me. I find inspiration in, in um, pretty much anything that's organic. I like to paint flowers. There are miracles. There's so many varieties. When I first started painting, that's all I painted. They were all over my house. <laughs> And I, my, my husband got a little tired of flowers, so I had to start painting some other things. So the ocean, landscapes. I, I've actually done some figures. I've done each of my kids. I've painted nature. I live at the ocean. I love sunsets. One of the things that's really important to me is my connection with people. I have a lot of friends and family that live far away. I like to send handwritten notes. I started making my own greeting cards. So I'll paint them, rubber stamp, and then I started making um, cards out of my favorite paintings. It's really special to get a, a handwritten note. I mean, there's a vulnerability that a person has when they write something. Probably my best medium, pastels. Really immediate and fun. Color is the most important element for me. I love bright, vibrant color. I've always painted from photographs. I bring my camera with me everywhere. As a kid, I was labeled a rebel. And it's kind of funny because I love rules. I absolutely love rules, but I know it's, it's fun to break them too. I don't, like to, I don't like to grid things out. I just start, I like to start laying things down right away. Kind of art is about learning the rules and then breaking the rules, <laughs> right? <laughs> For me, my art, it's about expressing my spiritual self. I uh, journal every day, and that process unblocks me. I take time in prayer and meditation before I start my day, and it makes me feel grounded in the, in the you know, more present in the moment. It really helps my creative process, too. I come up with a lot of ideas. I get renewal and energy from my creative process when I paint. I lose track of time. It makes it hard to sell artwork. It's connected spiritually connected to a piece. I love teaching art, adults and children. When I teach kids, my focus is on how that kid feels about what he did. Most of the time, the kids are just so delighted with their, their end result. Some kids are funny, they're like, oh, do you like it? And I'm always like, well, do you like it? <laughs> you know, that's what matters, you know, do you like it? When I see that the kid is satisfied with his work, it's a success. When I look at my body of work, I am amazed that I've been able to create so many paintings and beautiful things with so little time. It really makes me feel good about myself. I'm really very grateful for this gift. It is a gift. Art is expressing the human experience, and for me, I want to focus on the good the things I'm grateful for. I think my whole reason why I'm here, this is my whole purpose, is to be authentically the person I was created to be. I want to make the world a better place. Passing on a little encouragement, compassion to people. When people look at my work, what I want them to really feel is love.